this is question 13 on this P6 OCR Gateway Physics or Further Additional Science specimen paper. Declan builds an electric motor. Look at the diagram of the electric motor below. Now, if this is completely new to you, then I suggest you either go and watch um, my video on motors or that you ask your teacher to show you these little model electric motors at school. This is a really poorly drawn diagram of an electric motor. Coil wound on wood core is actually that bit there in the middle. And it, it's actually, it looks to me like it's pointing to the magnets. This on this side, this is a magnet. Yep, and this on this far side, that is a magnet as well. And they're set on attracting, okay, from north to south or north to south. And then this is current into the coil. Well, actually, the current is coming from through this wire. It's poorly drawn. Okay. And on the other side is the, if you like, the negative terminal as well. So this would be the positive side, and this would be the negative side. It does do you a little zoom in on what you're looking at there. Well, it doesn't really give you much uh, more information. It shows you that this this is the bare end of that coil of wire. So that's going around, around, around the wood core. And on the other side, there's the same thing. And then these brushes are just exposed pieces of wire that allow the current to get from them into the coil. And think what's going to happen every single time that coil, that core, sorry, that, yeah, coil rotates, then the other side of the wire is going to touch on the other um, brush. So the current in the coil is always going to be going round in one direction. Declan connects the motor to the DC power supply, so direct current, you know, it's always going around in one direction. It spins around slowly. He wants to make it spin faster, and he wants to change the direction. So that this should be some things that you kind of memorize, a list of things that you can do to increase the speed of a motor, and a list of things that you can do to change the direction of the motor. Explain how forces on the current carrying coil in the magnetic field cause the coil to rotate. That's the first part. You've got to explain basically how the motor works. And then the second part is how could Declan make the motor spin faster and in the opposite direction? This is one of these six mark quality of written communication questions. So think about how you're going to set out your answer. I'm going to suggest you first of all explain. So have yourself into this, as you go into this exam, a memorized explanation of how a motor works. And then secondly, how can you make it go faster? And you're gonna have that list that you can literally just put into a sentence, say this, this, that, and the other is how you make a motor spin faster. And how do you change the direction? Well, you just say this, that, this, and the other. You know, you've got to memorize these things for GCSEs. You've got to just be able to put these things down in an exam. Now, the high level answers will be applying uh, Fleming's left hand rule, and I do show you that in my video on the motor effect. So, if you fancy seeing that, if you really want to try and get that sixth mark, then I think quoting Fleming's left hand rule and explaining how that changes the direction, that how we work out the direction using that, will probably ensure that you get that sixth mark. Okay, pause the video now, have a little go at writing, and then I'll, I'll tell you some of the details that you need to make sure you get in. Okay, first of all, first of all, the explanation. Now, as the motor spins, it ensures that the, cu the current is always going around in one direction inside the coil. So let's say the current is going around in this direction. Okay. And each time it turns, it will keep on going that direction. Now, if we say this is north and this is south, then the field is going from north to south. That's your first finger. The current is going uh, away from us as we look at it. So on this side, the force will be downwards. And that means this north side is in the same field, so the force will be upwards. So the motor is going to spin in that direction, in the clockwise direction. 
Okay, so the current interacts with the field, the magnetic field, and the forces are in opposite directions. So that means that the motor spins. So that is some of the details that you want to get into the first part of your answer. Well, how do you make it faster? It's the first little part to answer. We make it faster by doing one of four things. We can have a stronger magnetic field or stronger magnets. We can have a higher current. We can also have more coils yeah, or more turns on the coil. So I, my orange line here is just showing one coil, but that coil could just continuously loop around and around and around. And the more times we did that, the stronger our magnetic field around that wire would be. So therefore, the faster the motor would spin. You could also use a soft iron core instead of a wood core. And there is a fifth one that I didn't say. You could actually have a higher area, so it could be a physically larger coil. Obviously, that wouldn't fit into this one, but they do allow that. And then, how would you change the direction? And again, you're going to list those things, what you can do to change the direction. Well, you can change around the direction of the current. So you can change uh, from positive to negative to negative to positive. Okay, you can change the direction of the magnetic field. Okay. And you must really say for this that it's the interaction of the field and the current that determines the, um, the direction that it's going to spin. And that is Fleming's left-hand rule. So here's where you would talk about the left-hand rule. Okay, thank you. I hope that one made sense.